Hello everyone. See, in this lecture, we will see synthesis of H acid and naphthol S. Synthesis of H acid. And second, we will see synthesis of naphthol AS. Isn't it? First, we will see synthesis of H acid. I will write the structure of H acid, what it is. This is H acid. This is what? H acid. So, how this H acid can be numbered? See, it is numbered from starting from this carbon atom 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, I can say 1 naphthol eight amino. 1 naphthol, 8 amino, 3, 6, 3, 6, di sulfonic acid, 3, 6, di sulfonic acid, isn't it? So, this is what 1 naphthol, 8 amino, 3, 6, di sulfonic acid and which is called H acid, which is called what? H acid. Now, let us see how this H acid can be synthesized. See, for the synthesis of H acid, we have to start from naphthalene. We have to start from naphthalene. Isn't it? See, naphthalene is on reaction with 30% oleum. Naphthalene is on reaction with what? 30% oleum gives, gives, A trisulfonated product, okay. Trisulfonated product that means there is introduction of three sulfonic acid group. There is introduction of three sulfonic acid group, and I can say or we can say this is what one, three, six, one, three, six, naphthalene. trisulfonic acid 136 naphthalene trisulfonic acid now this 136 tri 136 naphthalene trisulfonic acid is on nitration with concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid is on nitration with what Concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid gives gives a nitro derivative. That is, there will be an introduction of nitro group at this position. There will be an introduction of nitro group at this position and rest of the groups are as it is that I will write SO3H, SO3H. Isn't it? Now see, in next step, in next step, this nitro derivative, I will write that compound here only. Isn't it? Now, in next step, this compound is on reaction with iron 
HCl, there will be a what? Reduction. There will be a what? Reduction of this nitro group. So nitro group will get reduced into amino functionality. Nitro group will get reduced into amino functionality. And in last step, and in last step, this intermediate, this intermediate is on reaction with what? Sodium hydroxide. Okay, sodium hydroxide on heating one mole of sodium hydroxide. What I can say? One mole of sodium hydroxide on heating gives replacement of this sulfonic acid group by hydroxyl functionality replacement of this sulfonic acid group by hydroxyl functionality so what we will get we will get h acid what is this H acid so how H acid can be prepared let us see once again see for the preparation of H acid naphthalene naphthalene is reacted with 30 percent oleum okay at heating gives trisulfonated product so there will be a introduction of sulfonic acid group at this position at this position and at this position okay so these three position will get sulfonated to get this 136 naphthalene trisulfonic acid now in next step this 136 naphthalene trisulfonic acid is on nitration with what concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid that is nitrating mixture gives nitro derivative so there will be a what introduction of nitro group at this position so we will get what this nitro derivative now in next step this compound isn't it this compound that is that nitro derivative is on reaction with iron hcl isn't it so this is what reduction beckham reduction nitro group will get reduced into nh2 functionality nitro group will get reduced into what nh2 functionality isn't it this nitro group will get reduced into nh2 functionality now in next step in next step there will be a there will be a what replacement of this sulfonic acid group isn't it there will be a what replacement of this sulfonic acid group by one mole of sodium hydroxide isn't it if we have used excess of sodium hydroxide what will happen this sulfonic acid group will also get converted into hydroxyl this sulfonic acid group will also get converted into hydroxyl so we want here selectively only one this sulfonic acid group should get converted into hydroxyl hence we have used one mole of sodium hydroxide to get to get replacement of this sulfonic acid group by hydroxyl that is what final product which is called H acids okay this final product is called H acid this is what about H acid now let us see synthesis of naphthol AS synthesis of naphthol AS okay see naphthol AS is synthesized from naphthol as is synthesized from bone acid okay b o n bone acid bone acid is called beta oxy naphthoic acid bone acid is called what beta oxy naphthoic acid so what we have to prepare bone acid first we have to prepare bone acid first so i can say naphthol as Synthesis of naphthol S involves 
two steps synthesis of naphthol as involves what two steps okay now let us see how naphthol as can be synthesized what i can say synthesis of naphthol as involves two steps let us see first step first step synthesis of bone acid synthesis of bone acid isn't it let us see how bone acid can be synthesized see for the synthesis of bone acid we have to take beta naphthol isn't it we have to take what beta naphthol this what we have to react with sodium hydroxide that is alkali so what we will get we will get a sodium salt of beta naphthol isn't it in first step we will get a sodium salt of beta naphthol isn't it now in next step this sodium salt of beta naphthol is on reaction with is on reaction with carbon dioxide solid carbon dioxide that is dry ice isn't it this sodium salt of beta naphthol is on reaction with carbon dioxide gas or it's not a carbon dioxide gas it's what dry ice but that dry ice is made up from what carbon dioxide gas obviously so this will there will be a formation of there will be a formation of salt again there will be a formation of next salt o c o o okay i will write here O C O O N A. Okay, there is formation of this salt. Now, in next step, this salt is on reaction with. Okay, I will write that salt once again. See how it can be written. There is just introduction of carbon dioxide group C O O. into what this ona into what sodium salt of beta naphthol now in next step this is on reaction with dilute hcl this is on reaction with what dilute hcl there will be a formation of bone acid there will be a formation of what bone acid dilute hcl so it will give what bone acid this is bone acid it is also called beta oxy beta oxy naphthoic acid beta oxy naphthoic acid isn't it so this is what a bone acid now see this is what first step synthesis of bone acid now let us see second step second step preparation of naphthol as what is it second step preparation of naphthol as okay now see for the preparation of naphthol as we have to take bone acid
and this bond acid we have to react in first step with PCL3 with what PCL3 phosphorus trichloride so what will happen we will get a acid chloride of bond acid what we will get acid chloride of bond acid isn't it this what we will get acid chloride of bond acid now this acid chloride of bond acid is on reaction with aniline is on reaction with what aniline is on reaction with what aniline gives gives naphthol as it will give what naphthol as so this is naphthol as this is what naphthol as so i will write the structure of naphthol as this is what a naphthol as so how naphthol as can be prepared naphthol as is synthesized from <coughs> bond acid okay so we have to synthesize what first bond acid so bond acid how it can be prepared it can be prepared from beta naphthol isn't it so beta naphthol is reacted with sodium hydroxide that is alkali to get sodium salt of beta naphthol and that sodium salt of beta naphthol is on reaction with solid carbon dioxide that is dry ice to get this salt this intermediate isn't it now this intermediate is on reaction with what dilute hcl dilute hydrochloric acid there will be a what hydrolysis of this salt to get bond acid see this is called this step this step is called kolbe smith reaction kolbe smith reaction so we can say bond acid can be synthesized through what kolbe reaction to get bond acid now in second step this bond acid is reacted with phosphorus trichloride to get acid chloride derivative of bond acid now this acid chloride derivative of bond acid is on reaction with what aniline what is this aniline to get this aryl amide of naphthol as aryl amide of naphthol sorry aryl amide of bond acid so aryl amide of bond acid are called naphthols and this is what naphthol as aryl amide of bond acid are called naphthol and this is what naphthol as isn't it so i hope you have understood synthesis of h acid and synthesis of naphthol as okay wish you happy learning wish you all the best thank you very much